very serious research question. Let's here. get dressed and we'll get back on the camera, guys. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Because we have so much inventory on the way and because the Dean's gonna be building shelves. We listed it yesterday, sold yesterday. But really nice piece, we got this from- Disgusting. <laughs> Did it, it smell? It's so gross, I don't think so. Is this right? Right here? Hold on, it's Did too it dark. Here? I don't know if, I don't know if it's on. Yeah, look, see Can where my see? thing- I don't, I don't remember how to make these. Do you see my hand? Yeah. Okay, now look like, I think you're supposed to look. Hold on. I don't know if it's recording. That's the, it's weird. Huh? I don't know. You're wrong either. Anyway, we're getting ready for the tundra. Yeah, hey, <laughs> look at, look Welcome at the. Welcome to the tundra. Look at the, the, the snow and ice. It's so beautiful outside, they say. We like to go sledding, it is really nice. I don't know if you can see it, but for some reason, there's a red bird. What are the red birds called again? Cardinal. cardinal? There's a cardinal up in this tree. Buddy, go south. You don't want to be here right now. Oh, they are? Oh, all right. There it goes. Oh, there's another one up there. No way. Two of them. That's a good sign. We'll make some sales today. They say cardinals are dead people visiting here. Oh. Okay, well, that's kind of nice too. That's a morning job. <laughs> We've, uh, <laughs> we are rebranding our channel into bird watching. Audubon <laughs> RS. <laughs> so, as you can see, we just got snow in and it's not stopping, which is great. We got to get this, uh, get into the truck and get to work. First, I want to welcome everybody to the channel. If you don't remember, or this is your first video from us, my name is Melinda, and my husband, Adin, and I are full-time resellers, business owners, and that's what this channel is about. I uh, struggle with uh, saying I apologize um, for not putting out a lot of YouTube content recently, but um, I know there's a lot of people that have truly missed us and we do honestly appreciate those types of comments. Uh, let's just talk a little bit about why we've been absent uh, from YouTube or at least inconsistent at best. Right, so probably the biggest reason is there has been a huge scheduling change because our daughter started preschool. You would think I would actually get more time or we would have more time collectively, but it's just a two hour window, Monday through Thursday to do work, and then she's off on Friday. That has changed, and we're just trying our best to work around that and figure that out. Uh, it means I have less time in the office, so I'm still doing like 35 to 40 hours of work on the eBay business, but with a solid 13 hours a week of childcare. But it's been going well. The other reason is that we're just progressively busier with our business. Growing a business is just so much work. And I I feel bad about not putting out the content that's showing that because I think this is why people have so many misconceptions about business because people have the time once they're successful and everything's going smoothly. And you don't necessarily see that we're putting in all this work now for it. So we should be documenting that. We should be documenting the struggles so that people can actually see that putting in the work and growing a business is a lot of time, a lot of effort. There's only a, a very small percentage of people that understand how truly freaking grueling it is to start this from scratch, to move into a warehouse, to get things assembled. And we'll give you an update on the warehouse situation. We actually just completed our biggest buyout ever and we had the second delivery coming in with a lot of equipment too. So we'll definitely show you that. So stay tuned uh, later in this video for that. But it's just extremely grueling and difficult. And Mona's right, we should have been documenting that more and more, but we'll definitely catch you guys up. Uh, we promise and uh, Pinky promise. Hope I don't die anytime soon. Uh, we will be extremely consistent um, back on YouTube. We've been building this thing for like two and a half, three year, three almost a three and a half years. It's a lot of grind and just balancing and figuring all those schedules out, figuring out our relationship, our personal business. That takes a lot of time and effort. So YouTube was put on a back burner. Uh, we're about to light the match on fire. All right, very serious research question. Snow is awesome. Snow is not awesome. Comment below. 
snow is just not letting up. This is your first time here in how long? I was here like two weeks ago. Two weeks? Yeah. That's a long time. It smells very... Our Interesting. Has a very distinct smell. It smells like weed in here. And That's what it is. Sausage. <laughs> sausage and <laughs> skunk and weed. All right, uh, let us get undressed and we'll give you a quick tour of what's been happening Let's here. Let's get undressed and we'll get back on camera, guys. Let's so get... Let's get that Welcome sausage. Fans. Uh, Let's get that <laughs> sausage and weed out. Get undressed real quick. Oh, no. Show you guys around. I don't want to say we're like the number one place you want to work, but check out this improvement I did for all of our staff. Uh, go slightly to the right here, Mel. You see a big change in here? There's literally nothing to sit on. Oh, hey! I don't even have one of those in my house. A coat hanger. I need you to hang one for me for like. <laughs> well, now that Years. I have. <laughs> I now have the experience. Look at this. All right, look you at wanna, that. You want to work in a good place, you come work at HH Corporation. We have Pups. places. <laughs> Melinda has not seen this buyout. Um, the folks are coming back today for an additional 2,000 items. Um, the first batch was, I think, something like four to 5,000 things. These are a bunch of sweaters that I already pulled out. Uh, we have to discuss how we want to manage this because this is a lot of, like, really, like, lower value mall brand stuff but everything is in really good condition so there is value we just have to kind of figure out what is worth listing what is not worth listing inside of these boxes are actually brand new t-shirts um tons and tons of them and the story like the cliff notes are guy made a lot of money on amazon selling graphic t-shirts he got out of the business they got all the t-shirts now we got all the t-shirts and we still have to figure out what to do with them we already processed a bunch of this used stuff last week including like two tubs of jeans and like seven tubs of shoes and then we also have several trash bags come on in of other used stuff i honestly i have no idea what's in here so this is the first thing i'm pulling out looks like a basic um you know like a nice nike dry fit so there's gonna be a lot of like 10 to 20 dollar items here found a desk on facebook marketplace for 40 bucks i picked that up uh like three months ago it sat in the middle of uh, the warehouse for no reason for a long time we finally moved it in here so eventually we'll actually have an office space to work out of here instead of just a bunch of stuff careful boxes behind you <laughs> follow me this way i'll show you some of the shoes that we pulled out these are all the ones that we uh we deemed acceptable we paid for all of these um they just need light cleaning so we have a lot of basic stuff like yellow beans and but we also have some really cool things like captain america converse and um some allegria which is a really good brand to look out for when reselling so adidas fry so on and so forth a bunch of them so there's four tubs here plus we already uh took photos of a bunch of stuff that was ready to on to this way the photo area hasn't really changed much but that's going to change later today because of the other stuff that we're buying from these guys but if you are new to here this is our kind of our photography room the setup is pretty basic so if you come in here we have two of these uh, right next to each other this is how we take our pictures for all of our uh, clothing and then we just have a small little desk over there for shoes uh, which again we're going to improve on today back to the warehouse we go uh, shipping station, return stuff, uh, shipping stuff. Oh, it's actually not as cold as I thought it would be in here, so that's nice. So as far as the warehouse goes, here it is. Um, probably the biggest improvement is, well, we finished wall number one. We finished wall number two. It still needs a little bit, so if you, uh, maybe you stand over there for, for um, comparison. I'm a six foot ten fella. So you can see that these are pretty big and they store a lot. Currently we have around 6,400 active listings all stored in this inventory system. I also re-consolidated, Consol what's the word? Consolidated. Consolidated all the SAS shoes that we've been steadily selling. So they're all here now. And we still have a decent amount of stuff that, um, don't show them that uh, shoe pile over there real quick. I said, don't show them that. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. uh, those are still from our old uh, store uh, inventory system, but the it just takes time. So we're down to maybe like 30 pairs to re-inventory and revisit the listings, fix stuff. But that pile was 700 plus pairs at one point. So we've done an okay job overall. We're out of capacity, so we do have to build the next row. I've decided it's going to go over here. I'm going to anchor it starting on this separation wall and it's going to go this way and then we're going to do a double aisle here 
and that way uh, we'll be set for probably the year. But if you check out our previous video, I did a whole video on just our inventory system, so go check that out uh, for sure, and uh, that'll show you a bit about how this all works. So we're gonna head back this way, come on with me, and we're going to discuss the sweater situation. So I didn't want to do anything with this until I spoke to Melinda about it. So as we kind of go through these, um, I guess I'll let you just kind of flip through them and see, you know, what brands you recognize and what brands you don't recognize. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of these brands that are just, you know, they're really, really just, you know, what do you see? I guess tell the audience what brands are you seeing. There's Hollister, Daisy Fuentes. This first one is... Anna, a new approach. There's like a new day in there, uh, American Eagle. So your mall brands and your store brands that don't necessarily even retail for a high price. It's kind of a tough call. So here's my, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking because we have so much of it and they're all really in excellent condition. Like there's, there's no hair, there's no processing needed. I'm thinking, let's go ahead and get this stuff photographed ASAP. Let's uh, let's not look up all of the comps for them and sell through rate for them. And because we're getting them at a, a pretty good deal, let's go ahead and just list them low for between 10 and 15 bucks without even looking them up because we're doing such volume. I guess, what are your thoughts on that? Because that doesn't that's not our typical how we do things. Right, yeah, we usually stay away from stuff that is sub 15 plus ship, but... They are, they're they like were, running a, we're running a volume store. So that's that's one thing to consider as well. And these are all really great for winter. I know with inflation, budgets are tight. People are looking for a value. So I think that that's not a bad idea as long as we're not paying a lot of money for these. Right. You know, there's still a little bit of profit to be made on them. So you flip a bunch quickly yeah, and I think we, we do it quickly by offering a really good price on them. Like, let's just go with, like, flat, like, twelve ninety five plus shipping or something like that. Right, and we with offers. offers, which we, that's, the majority of our products do sell on offers. Yeah. And we plan for that, so. Yeah, wait, and uh, now, now listen, if this, all this stuff was, like, it needs a lot of steaming and hair removal, and it's just in rough condition and stained, it would be an absolute no. But look at how much of this stuff we have. Like, we have five more tubs here when we have all of these tubs here and another 2000 units coming oh i think that we're in agreement there so we will we'll get them for a really good deal we'll probably make like a five six dollar profit per item right. uh maybe we set the bottom at like seven dollars is the lowest we'll take as an offer yeah and we'll check back in and let you know we'll try to keep track of the ones that we're listing at that price and maybe keep a week by week tally of what we're selling and yeah how that's working for us and see how it goes all right let's talk about these t-shirts real quick so the nice thing is what you see right here in front of me this is exactly what we have and then we have multiple quantities so this is officially licensed game of thrones t-shirt and then we can find it here and see how many of these we have i think this is elf in here i think another elf story we have ricky and morty christmas stuff we have ninja turtle the godfather t-shirts we got Saved by the Bell. I mean, there's just a ton of this stuff. And we literally will have probably like three, four thousand t-shirts. Say that again? On camera? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she, she was talking about the land the what is this thing called? It's a lanyard. A lanyard. Did this? I did that. Uh, I was like a coach. Head. I was pricing stuff out and I put that on there and now it's ruined forever. We're gonna pick some orders as soon as Wanda uncomplicates my complicated. We did just find another 10 pair to be re inventory so this pile is getting a little bit smaller. We found three pair that were not even listed, and we found some <laughs> socks. <It's disgusting. laughs> did it smell? It's so gross. I don't think so. Are they, they my size? They were like kids' boots, so they were probably worn like five times, but. I don't know, these might be my size. So we had a pair of Sorel winter boots that were not listed, just sitting there basically in a death pile. A pair of Doc Martens, vintage, made in England, just sitting there, not making us money. And look, another pair of Sorel boots, sitting there, not making us any money. That's silly. We're gonna go pick some orders. The first one that's sold, A579. Ooh, i uh, be able to reach that. Yeah. One that goes for the bottom shelf, that's... Uh... <laughs> in everything I choose. <laughs> Darn, that, 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 that dug deep. 
Uh, pretty cool piece. This is, uh, you want to talk a little bit about it there, Mel? We sold it for 27 bucks. Here we have a rain spooner, traditionally Hawaiian wear. However, you'll notice these represent our great state mascots, the Spartans. Yeah, that's one of our mascots. Yeah, pretty cool one. We actually sold a large version of the same exact shirt for like 40 bucks a little while ago. This one sold for 27. The next one is this vintage Helen oh, yeah, um, coat, Ooh, if this will zoom in. Well, that's gonna get it. It's on the rack. Vintage Helen Henry Brown Fox Fur Cuff Blah 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 Jacket. Yeah, it sold. We listed it yesterday. Sold yesterday, but they didn't pay until today. Yeah, it's a really nice piece. I'll let Melinda come drag it out and uh, show it off. Really nice piece. We got this from our friend Athena. So thank you so much. So really nice, mm -hmm. true vintage coat. Yeah. Uh, someone's really gonna love it. Sold for forty bucks. Uh, pretty happy with that. Plus shipping. I think like 15 bucks in shipping because it is heavy. Yeah. Uh, next, another one Melinda can reach. It's a free people sweater. Uh, ivory open knit uh, C742. This one sold for 19 bucks. Free people. We sell free people probably like three to five times a week, uh, if not yeah. more. Yeah, it's a, it's a great brand to sell. You know, it's nothing crazy. Some styles sell for more, but generally speaking, it does sell pretty quickly. Next up, uh, another one Melinda can reach. Melinda, you're on fire with these low shelf items. This is a lower value sale. I got a bunch of jeans from a fella for three bucks each. I think it was like five pair. Uh, one of them sold for $14.41. Uh, K314, so this Ooh. way. Bottom shelf again. K314. There's just a pair of Wrangler jeans. We don't have to show them off. They're Wrangler jeans, basic. All right, now this is going to be a little bit uh, difficult for a height oh, challenge person oh. like Melinda. N as in Nancy, 278. So that's going to be that's going to be yeah. tippy toes. Melinda's going to have to get a Look stool. Flat foot. Uh, 278. N 278. She's struggling, folks. She's she's playing on the camera like she's not. This is hurting her spirit and physique. Um, this is a new Batag's little beam sweatshirt. Super basic, brown, nothing to really talk about. Uh, 20 bucks plus ship out the door. Low shelf, BZ's A748. Let's go, Mel, quickly. Hurry up now. We're wasting time here. A748? Uh, A748. Oh, You're going to have to move the ladder. While you're working on that, I'm gonna go get G93, which I know Melinda can't get because it's up here for us uh, not so vertically challenged folks. It's right in this one. I gotta put the camera down. Hi, mom. Okay, we sold a pair of logs by Dansko. Did you get it? Yeah. So those are BZs. They sold for like 17 bucks plus ship. Decent brand. Fast sale. That one was yeah. like a day and a half. And then a pair of Dansko's clogs, uh, sold those for 30 bucks plus ship, which is kind of on the higher end for basic clogs, but hey. Yeah, the Dansko's we found sell around 25 to 35 right now, depending on the style. Yeah, next one, R233, no one can get that. That's all the way up there, second to the top. We'll grab it. A uh, pair of Nike leggings for 16 bucks. Uh, H468 is all the way up there, so we gotta get, actually, Mona, hop on the ladder there. H468. A pair of Lululemon uh, headbands that sold. Come on, focus. There it is. Uh, 15 bucks. Uh, not bad. You know, super easy, obviously. Just a couple headbands. Probably worth like seven bucks each. Uh, not that I'm aware of. No. Nope. Uh, F548. F, uh, Can't get to it. I'll get to that. That's, that's right here. Actually, it's right here. F548. I know. Here, why don't you? Talk? Whoop! Good catch. And Someone's gonna comment on how that was dangerous. That is dangerous. <laughs> this is a J. Crew cardigan sweater, thirty-four bucks plus ship. A six oh six, right down there. See, right where my where I'm pointing. My hands are full. This is a pair of Nike basketball short or uh, pants. yeah, pants. Uh, Seventeen bucks. We got a pair of uh, New Attack Chicos that sold. That's Q. We can't reach that. That I-647. That's gonna be top shelf, probably at the end there. Look at that hustle, folks. I feel like we should have a relay race one of these days. Uh, like everybody gets a packing list, and yeah. we see who finishes first. You know, at different heights for everybody. We'll have to check with HR. Just out of reach. Ah, she's gonna have to move the ladder. Be right back, folks. Last one I'll grab is B-352, this Nike vest. B-352, 352. It's a reversible Nike vest. We priced this at like 30. It sold for 21, or it sold for 18 plus ship. Um, 
we had it for a while so obviously we want to move stuff and not become a storage facility all right the stuff Mona is grabbing or the things she's grabbing it's new attacks the quaker factory christmas uh embellished um top 20s this quack it's quaker quacker factory like it is stuff. quacker oh okay quacker factory. Qu quack quack toss it yeah, it has it, Christmas it stuff on it. Really well. It's so random. Well, it's, it's larger. Really really it's random. it's also plus size clothing mostly. That's true. That was so. Tags and it's got some We're gonna finish up pulling the Poshmark sales. We won't go through everything. Let us know if you're interested in us doing a weekly sales highlights video. Happy to do that. A couple highlights uh, that we did pull. This is a really nice UGG robe. Uh, 25 bucks. It sold super fast. Uh, actually had an offer of 20 on eBay, and then it sold for 25 on Posh. And then another really fast one is this noble pair of women's uh, running athletic shorts as well. Both sold really fast, like hour and a half, or I think it was like 28 on yeah. Poshmark. Nice. Yeah, so let us know. Uh, Melinda would be leading that like sales highlight video. So if you want this beautiful face in front of your screen, talking to you like what's selling now, what you need to look out for, uh, please let us know and we will do that. Uh, Mel is going to start packing. I'm going to pull some of the uh, upstairs stuff that vertically challenged people can't uh, for obvious reasons. You know, I'm not vertically challenged enough where I could have gotten like a discount on my college degree. That's true. That's the only thing yeah. I regret. Yeah, yeah. You just. <laughs> you... Just tall enough. <laughs> just tall enough. All right, we'll be back. Melinda is just finishing up shipping. So, this is our little batch here. Um, th that wasn't us, I promise. Uh, pretty good sales day overall. We'll do a video and kind of explaining what happened to us after we reached 6,000 active listings. But that part is done. Uh, we found everything, we did it quickly, all that good stuff. It's been a while since you did that. How did it go for you? Good. Great. I actually walked by and asked if you had fun and you said yes. And I really believe you because I, you know, you don't get to be out of the house as much as I do. That's right. Yeah, it was good. Awesome. I like it. Because we have so much inventory on the way and because the Dean's going to be building shelves and because this has been sitting here for way too long, what we're doing is we're going to take everything out of these big boxes and we're going to throw them on another rack. It makes it streamlined. We know that anything that said large or big box before will be hanging on a rack. So it'll be easy to find and it's going to clear up all this space because we can get rid of these boxes in the center here. And we're kind of just putting it here to the side because this is going to be blocking my efforts of building new shelves and this will force me to get through this stuff and separate the old, get rid of this stuff and relist stuff and so on and so forth. So this is all still from our house. Remember, we've been here since April and we still have this. So don't be... Uh, don't be too hard on yourself as you're working through stuff. Just work through it. Or do. Or do. <laughs> Fair enough. Be better than us. Yeah. In preparation, uh, we did some moving around, all thanks to Melinda. And I was just telling her how nice it is to have her here to get this stuff organized. So we're going to unload the new stuff in a dock door. And as we're continuing to plan out the warehouse, we're going to make this kind of the receiving area. And then to this way, to the right, that's going to be the shipping area eventually. But this gives us plenty of space to get this stuff in here now. So that was awesome. Uh, we just got the last shipment drop off of inventory. Let's take a look at how much there is. Yeah, shout out to Fallon and Andrew for uh, working with us and uh, dealing with us because uh, this is great. Yeah, really, really nice people as well. Hopefully we are gonna hear from them that they went to Max's tonight. So, which is a tiki bar in Grand Rapids. If you're ever here, go to Max's, it's awesome. Yeah, look at all the stuff we have now. Uh, we just emptied and cleared our warehouse so we could fill up our warehouse. So there's all of this. And all of this. What is this? Thousands. Thousands. Of Thousands. Pieces. And then this is all the new, more new stuff. And then this is yeah. a lot of the overflow new stuff. And then we also did get some photo boxes and a shoe photo box. Let's it's go all, show them well, that real quick. It's assembled right now. Ah, all right. Yeah. Well, we'll be in the next vlog, maybe uh, setting that stuff up. And yeah, and a fancy new steamer, too. A really nice steamer. That's yeah, a $300 really nice. steamer compared to our $40 steamer. So excited about that. For sure. So, all right. Uh, sign us off. We are signing off from the warehouse. Hope you enjoyed this video. And we will see you soon. Very Promise. soon. Pinky. Pinky Take promise? Care. Pinky promise. All right. Bye.